So if you guys are new to the channel or haven't been around for a while, there's been a lot of different transitions for the channel, for the home theater, for myself. I first got into home theater living with my mom and my sister, and it was just throwing some speakers together in a small bedroom just because I wanted something. And then I really got into the hobby, started making videos and whatever. But I've started off in a small bedroom home theater and then I moved into my own apartment and had a living room home theater, but even that room was really small. The bedroom was super tiny and I shared the wall with the living room, so it was hard to turn it up. And then across the hallway was my sister's room, so I really couldn't enjoy home theater the way that I think you're supposed to. So moving into my apartment and having my own place, I say own because I share a complex with more people now, um, I was able to... I uh, put my speakers in a little bit bigger of a room and it really changed the sound and it kind of changed what kind of speakers I was into. But being in an apartment means you have people above you, you may have people below you, people to the left of you, you share a common wall, your ceiling is their floor. So even in that apartment, I never really had the chance to turn up my system and really enjoy the money and the time that I put into it. So now in this home, I bought my house in November of 2023, and this is the first time that I've ever had a dedicated space, and it's also the first time I've ever been away from anybody else, so nobody can hear me. And I've learned a lot of things in the short time that I've been in this home having a dedicated home theater that I wanted to share with you guys. Some of you guys are in a position where you can have a dedicated home theater, and maybe you're wondering if it's even worth it. Maybe you have a living room set up right now, but you have a basement and you're wondering, man, I like my living room theater. Is it even worth moving everything down to the next room? Should I do that? Well, I want to kind of share with you guys my, my take on a home theater in a living room or a dedicated space versus, you know, a common room like a living room, for example, or a bedroom, whatever. I want to tell you guys kind of what I've learned transitioning from home theaters like that to a dedicated space. And first off, I, it's 100% worth it. Let's just start there. Having a dedicated home theater is 100% worth it if you can do it because it's like a separate part of the house. It's really cool for me to come home after work or whatever, and then I can choose where I want to be and what I want to do. I can come home from a long day's work, be tired, and go to the bedroom and just watch a regular TV, right? Or go to the living room and sit on the couch and just watch TV and relax. Or I can go into my office and I can play Xbox and get on my big 49 inch monitor and, and have fun or whatever. Or I can come in here and sit down, relax, recline, kick my feet up and watch the projector, watch the home theater on a big 103 inch screen. So it's really cool to have different spaces in your home versus when I have my home theater in my living room, every time, every time I came home, I was in my living room and my home theater at the same time. So that means that anybody else that came to my home was also in my home theater. So it was kind of weird not having a separate place. I had to fire up the home theater every time I wanted just to watch a regular TV show or something because my home theater was my living room. And so I have a projector and the screen in my living room. I didn't have a TV in my living room. If I wanted to watch TV or I wanted to relax, I had to go sit in the bed. And you feel really lazy if you're sitting in the bed all day just because you don't want to fire up your home theater all the time. So having a dedicated space in that sense is so worth it because you have a spot in the house that literally feels like a home theater and you can make it feel like a movie theater if you want to. If you're not fond on going out but you love movies, you can make your dedicated space like this look like a movie theater, like a your local cinema. You can put movie posters up and you can get a long throw projector and you can have multiple rows of seats and popcorn and snack bars and whatever and you can literally have what the movies have right in your home. So just in that aspect, having a separated space, I think it's way worth it. If you can do it, move your stuff to a different room because um, it's cool. The second thing I like about having a dedicated space is that home theater doesn't get old unless you're always talking about it. Us uh, enthusiasts, us YouTubers, we are constantly in our home theaters making reviews for you guys and talking about music and talking about speakers and subwoofers and sound and how to set up this. And in my home theater at my apartment, like I said, I was always in my home theater staring at my speakers. And don't get me wrong, I love them, but it's nice to not see them, right? It's nice to close the door here and be separated from that part of life. And that may be more specific to me because it's 
now my job to make videos and talk to you guys about these kinds of things. So to be able to close this door and not see any of this is nice, but it's also really cool to know that behind this door is a home theater that not a lot of people have, but would like to have. So in that aspect, it's really cool to have a dedicated home theater. What I've learned having a home uh, dedicated home theater is that th first off, you're never done. It's kind of like having a car and modifying it. You're never really done. You may get it fast and you have it looking good, but it's never fast enough. It's never enough horsepower. And the same thing for the home theater. I have really good speakers and really good subs. and I love my projector and I love my seats and I love everything that I have, but I know that I'm going to upgrade one day. I know I'm going to change my speakers. I'm going to get the next preprocessor. I'm going to upgrade the, the size of my screen. It's all going to happen. So it's, it's never enough, right? But the fact that I have a dedicated home theater means that I have endless possibilities. Back in my apartment, I couldn't. I had Atmos speakers, but I couldn't put it in the ceiling. But now I can. Now I have Atmos speakers in the ceiling. I just recently took on a project of taking out this little dome light that I had that didn't really shine the room, and I put in three recessed lights in here. That was a fun project, and it's really transformed the room. Um, so I've learned a lot of how-to things, like how to put recessed lights in, and how to make an AV rack out of your closet, and how to make, I made my own um, coffee table. I've learned how to do a lot of things that I wouldn't have taught myself if I didn't have a dedicated home theater. So I'm just sharpening my tools just in life in general because I have the freedom to do whatever I want in this room. I had never painted a wall before <laughs> until I came in here. And I've definitely never painted the ceiling, but I did in this home theater. So there's a lot of projects and things that I've done and ideas that I've thought about that only you can do in a dedicated home theater. Because if you have a wife or kids or a dog or a cat, whatever, you really can't just be painting walls and do whatever you want to because you share that space with somebody else. Or maybe you're renting and the space is never going to be yours. Eventually you're going to leave, right? So again, having a dedicated space that you can do whatever you want to is the best part of having a dedicated home theater. Some of the new challenges that I have had having a dedicated home theater is that usually when you set up a home theater, you never rearrange it. And I love to change things. I, I'm a person who will put a couch here and then a, 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 a love seat here and then a this and that and the other and then three months later I'll rearrange it because I just want something new. If you watch my apartment videos, my home theater was always rotating onto a different wall or whatever. In a dedicated home theater, everything is in place, especially because I have Atmos speakers set up for this seating. So I really can't change anything ever. So my system will always stay this way. And it's a challenge for me because I know that one day I will want to change things. And the only thing I can really do is just change furniture or paint the wall a different color or change speakers. But everything will always be laid out this way. And that's going to be new to me because like I said, I always change my home theater just because I want something different. But I can't change anything in here, which leads me to the next challenge. Depending on the room you choose for your dedicated home theater will decide how good it's going to sound. So for me, I had two choices of a room. This rectangular room, perfect for sound, but small, versus a much bigger room, but more square, not as good for sound. I ultimately, I've obviously chosen the smaller room because it is better for sound, but it's probably as good as it's going to get. I can't move my speakers more to the left or more to the right because there is nowhere to go. Or my projector, I can't move my screen anywhere. There's nowhere for go. And then my projector is sitting on top of my center channel. I can't mount my center channel on the wall because it'll be in the way of the lasers on the screen. So I am stuck with this layout, not these speakers, not the equipment, but I'm stuck with this configuration. I maybe can add or take away a few speakers every now and then, but that's the most I can do to make this room change. So eventually I may have to paint the walls and change the ceiling color and add some decor and whatever to continue to you know, freshen up the home theater, which is kind of why I was saying it's nice to have a dedicated space that you can separate yourself from because if you're in here all the time, it may get tiresome always coming in here. You may not have the enthusiasm you had about your system if you're always in front of it. So it's nice to take a break and not be in here and whatever. And that may help me get past the fact that I can't change anything as far as the layout goes. Maybe one day I will, we'll try it, but 
for all that I know is that I can't. So that's going to be a challenge for me. And then the last challenge that I'm still overcoming right now is having wood floors. All my home theaters have had carpet or a rug or whatever, and it's been completely, you know, carpeted. This is, my whole home has no carpet whatsoever. Um, so treating that system is a lot harder than it was in my last system my, in my last home. So I'm learning how wood affects the sound and I'm learning what I need to do to fix it. If you guys remember earlier in my time here in this room, I was having bad bass issues. I was having weird bass issues, which is why I took the door off because even the door was playing around with my sound. And so I learned along the way that, okay, take the door off, it sounds better. Keep the door on, it sounds worse, okay. And then I learned that my surround sound speakers are too low, so I raised them up, and so on and so forth. So this room is a new challenge for me that I'm happy to have because now I can tell you guys about it. And it just continues to sharpen my skills as far as acoustics goes and learning how sound actually works. Um, and so it's really fun to have to figure out what to do. And I do have a lot more acoustic treatment that I want to put in here, but I want to make sure that I don't spend too much. And, you know, mortgage is important. So I want to make sure that I don't spend too much on a home theater, but I have a good idea of what needs to be done. And I didn't know anything about this until I moved here. So it's a new challenge in this room, but I'm more than happy to learn and learn and learn because the more that I know, the more I can share it with you guys. So there's tons of reasons um, why you should have a dedicated home theater if you can. And there's tons of challenges that I can talk to you guys about. But I just want to tell you guys, if you have the ability to have a dedicated home theater, definitely do it. Um, because all the reasons that I've said, I'm not going to repeat them all. Those all the reasons in this video is a, every bit of a reason to have one. You won't regret it. If you live in a home and it's your home, you own that home, make a dedicated space. If you're renting, make a dedicated space anyway. If you have a free bedroom, do so. But if you don't have dedicated space, it doesn't matter. Enjoy the space that you're in. Enjoy the speakers that you're in. And, and enjoy the people that are also sharing that space with you. If you have to compromise with a spouse, with the kids, with the seven cats that are climbing on your speakers, then it is what it is. But... Um, don't get wrapped up in what you see on the internet because I may appear like I have my life together, but I don't. I just I just do good about appearing like I do. And that's how the internet is. People look like they're rich, but they just do well with what money they have and they put it to the right things at the right time. So don't chase uh, anything but a dream. Chase your dreams, but don't chase what you see on the internet. It's not worth it. If you have a chance to make a dedicated space, do that and uh, send it to me on Subscriber Showcase so I can see it. Thank you so much. We will see you guys in the next video. Kpace guy out. Peace.